You're watching Carrie TV. Hi, I'm Don France, District B representative on the Cary Town Council. And I'm Lori Bush, Mayor Pro Tem on the Cary Town Council, and this is Cary Matters. We created this program to help keep you informed about issues that council members are working on for our community. That's right, Lori, and there is just so much going on in Cary right now, isn't there? Oh, it's so true. One of the highlights of this season, besides the parade and the Christmas tree lighting and everything else going on is the Chinese Lantern Festival. It's just great. It We've been already and I plan on, I've actually been twice. 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 And I plan on going back again. It is really cool. The Chinese Lanterns have come to carry taken over Booth Amphitheater for the third consecutive year. There are hundreds of larger than life lit up lanterns that glow and light up the night. There is even a 200 foot long floating dragon on Symphony Lake. That's longer than three school buses for those of you that measure distance in school buses. <laughs> and it weighs more than 18,000 pounds. His or her head alone was installed by a crane with a 15 person crew. Wait, his or her Whoa. head? How do you tell whether a dragon's a boy or a girl? You or... lift up the tail. Wait, 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 and... no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just agree that it's totally worth a visit. Uh, you know, 25 Chinese artisans and performers arrived in North Carolina early last month to assemble these magnificent handmade lanterns. And we're only one of four cities across the entire U.S. to have them. And it's not just the lanterns. With your admission ticket, you'll see Chinese cultural performances on stage. They perform contortion and plate spinning and face changing. They demonstrate calligraphy. And there's a nationally recognized drum percussionist from China who's here. So, so much more. These lanterns are also steeped in history. In ancient times, lanterns were fairly simple and only the emperor or nobleman had them, uh, especially the big, large, ornate ones. Mm. But since then, these lanterns have been embellished with complex designs like we see here in Cary. And they are created by hand on silk fabric that is stretched over the steel frames and then lit up. It's really amazing they scene. Are. It took 19 tractor trailers to deliver the lanterns this year. That's up from 13 the first year and 15 last year. There's more than 15,000 LED lights in use and they are made only in one city in China, Xingong Sichuan, which is called the lantern capital of China for thousands of years. And then they're shipped here directly to the North Carolina ports and then we have them. It's a great place to see some great artisan work. Make sure to bring your camera. The colors are really stunning and folks of all ages, I think, enjoy it. They are, it's a blast. And if you're hungry, like I always am, food trucks are there every night and there will be a special Chinese food vendor on site starting December 12th. And of course, when it's cold out, you can always buy hot chocolate or get one of your favorite adult beverages uh, in the concession stand in the Crescent too. Yeah, those favorite adult beverages can also keep you warm. They can keep you they warm. They can, yeah. Well, for more on the Chinese Lantern Festival, just go to thetownofcary.org. That's it. That's it. That's it. Well, thanks so much for your time and for everyone, for everyone, from everyone, for our home to yours. We wish you a wonderful holiday season. We surely do. And thanks for watching Cary Matters. And as always, thank you for choosing to call Cary home. You're watching Carrie TV.